You guys have heard of Salt Bay, right? They call me Seed Bay. <laughs> okay, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Longest Yard. I am going to be burning this lawn down this spring and I want to know what my grass is going to look like. I know I want Kentucky bluegrass. That's the best Kentucky bluegrass that I know of is the 365 SS that they use on the field for the Rose Bowl. Here, that's the king seed right here. 365 SS. It's a mixture between three different types of Kentucky bluegrass. Three different cheeses melted. That's what you're tasting. Hmm. Gargonzola, Munster, and Cottage. So I decided to collect the bluegrass that I have used in the past along with a perennial ryegrass and a fescue. And I'm gonna be making little, uh, little desk lawn. These, these are just uh, black stone drip pans that I found, but they're nice and deep. Get in there nice and deep. Nice and uh, rectangular. I'm gonna be filling them up with my Scott's soil. It's about the only Scott's product that I use. <laughs> Scott's. I've got five different kinds of seeds, five different kinds of desk lawns. Let's get to work. <laughs> Don't keep them outside if it's going to freeze, it'll kill the seeds. Time to go put them in the window and I will check back with you guys in a week to 21 days because that's about how long Kentucky bluegrass tends to germinate. And we'll see what it looks like. Okay, welcome back. It has been 15 days since I planted these and all of them have germinated. All of them have came up, but as you can see, some are taller than others. So we'll start off with the turf type tall fescue. I was pretty impressed. I like the way it looks, uh, very straight. Cool story, Hansel. I was very impressed with the perennial ryegrass. They call it sissy grass. Probably for a reason because I think it germinated after like four days. It, very impressed. It kind of made me question whether or not to go with perennial ryegrass. So then we went down to the X mark. This is kind of the bagged, cheaper like bagged mixed stuff from North 40. And it germinated really well. Um, it's really thick too. Um, really thin grass blades and I actually, I, I really like it. For a cheaper knockoff brand of seed, I, I thought it did pretty well. This one is the North 40 that I use. I used for my overseed for the last two years. And as you can see, my my kids got into that one. OJ can get away with murder. Why can't Sonny have his kid? It would look the same all the way across in case, if my kids didn't get into it, but that's fine. This one um, germinated right at eight days. So this one's a 365 SS from United Seeds. It germinated right about 10 days nine, 10 days uh, last weekend. And it was a little thin to start with, but then it started coming up and now it's getting a lot thicker and the blades of grass are super small, which I like. And I think, I still think I'm gonna go with this one. I have done a little bit of research and the midnight, I kind of forgot all about the midnight, to be honest. God, Karen, you are so stupid. I did a little bit more research and the midnight Kentucky bluegrass might be a good option too, to mix in with the 365. And then I was really impressed with the perennial rye, rye grass. I'm gonna keep these lawns going, these little lawns and see what they're like, you know, on a month or whatnot. We're digging trampoline tomorrow and then we're putting the trampoline in the ground, killing the grass, loving the lawn with the soil. And then we're gonna reseed with the 365 SS, maybe even the midnight mixed in. Like that, maybe Bed Bath & Beyond, I don't know. I don't know if we'll have enough time. We're gonna get this yard 
Kentucky Blue Grass approved. It's gonna be awesome. Thank you guys. I'll see you there or I'll see you on another time. We were just broken, shattered, singing along to nothing matters. Stray around like nighttime rumors. We were in too deep in your worn out sweaters. Thinking we'll be young forever. Driving in your mom's old hatchback. And we were in too deep. Don't want to cut more than a third of the blade off, right?